Sea Org or IES, it doesn't matter where you're in the church, you have no rights, no power. In fact, one of the first things you sign in the Church of Scientology is a, a membership enrollment agreement. You sign a contract because the church is organized by lawyers. You sign a membership contract agreement, which again you can find online, find it on my blog. And what you do, you agree to be kidnapped mm. by the church. Yes. The, the membership contract form says that if you go type 3 in a case supervisor supervisor deems that you're type 3 like Lisa McPherson, you give them the right to lock you up, to take you out of a psychiatric confinement. Let's say you get in California, you get 5150, which means mm -hmm. psychiatric lockup. If you're a member of the church, they can come and pull you out. They'll waive that contract and say, we want to pull this person out of psychiatric lockup, take him back to New York. That's a bad way to go. <laughs> And did they stop drugging you right away? I um, actually don't know when any when that started. Uh, um, at some point, they started giving me uh, chloral hydrate and diazepam. Scott, isn't Valium and chloral hydrate a very bad cocktail to take in combination? Yeah, it's the it's the same two drugs they were giving to uh, Lisa McPherson. And, uh, you know, if you've seen any of the photos of Lisa McPherson when she died, uh, she was severely dehydrated and, uh, you know, uh, during the time they were giving it to me, uh, I went for a whole week one time without eating or drinking anything. I came that close to, to death. Wow. And, uh, Chloral hydrate is a powerful narcosynthesis drug. It's used in drug-induced hypnosis. It's like a truth serum. It puts a person into a hypnotic state very easily. And uh, and diazepam, when given in high doses, causes what's called periograde amnesia, where you forget what happened after a traumatic event. Now, who prescribed this to you, Scott? The, the ship's doctor, what Julie, was her name? Julie Pavieshnik, uh mm -hmm. prescribed those drugs to me. And uh, later on, we found out that she wasn't even a real doctor. She faked being a medical doctor. A fake doctor. A fake Just doctor. Like most a fake doctor was the, the, was the doctor fake. on the fake. ship. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she was married to the captain, it was the yeah. captain's wife. <laughs> Captain is Mike Napier's the, wife. Is this the woman the captain was having sexual intercourse with when yeah, he was married he was to cheating. the other woman? He was cheating on his wife, the mother of his two children, with Julie Pavieshnik, and then divorced his wife, wife and married her. her. Did he know she was a fake doctor? Yeah, I don't think he did. Okay. He didn't. Right. Uh, so this fake doctor, yeah. not aware of the fact that you could get severe long-range brain damage, oh. gives you a combination of Valium, yeah. And chloral hydrate. Yeah. You know, you were just ahead of Lisa McPherson. They did this right. in 1995, and Lisa McPherson died. You were strong and you survived. Right. Yours was I 1993. Was the, I right? was the test case, I guess. You can get a beating in the church. You could be locked down, held in captivity, held in isolation, given rice and beans, never allowed to contact the outside world. You, you can, the church can do anything. But that, according to these new contracts, you sign a contract saying you will never, ever say anything negative about what happened to you or what happened inside the church. The church thinks it's law enforcement. If they go nuts, if we make them nuts in our auditing processes, we want the right to lock them up until they're not crazy. No, it's all about PR. We don't want some lunatic Scientologist on the streets. We want to be able to pull them off, cool them down, 
and we'll even use, uh, we'll use, what did they use on Lisa McPherson? They used... Chloral hydrate. Thank you, chloral hydrate. And so, volume. Yeah, we'll use, then we'll turn to the heavy stuff when our techniques fail, like they've done Lisa McPherson. Chloral hydrate volume, crush it up, put it in orange juice. This should be a warning to anyone thinking of joining the church, is at the outset you have to agree that they can kidna kidnap you if you flip out. That's what's called an out indicator. That's a sign of a red flag ahead that you probably shouldn't join that kind of group. These documents tell you what the Church of Scientology is afraid of. Mm -hmm. So everything they're afraid of, you have to sign a contract so they're not mm -hmm. afraid anymore. Yeah. And any kind of group that is so afraid of you that they want to take away all your civil rights, yeah. your rights to make... You promise by signing this yeah. that you will never say this, or do this, or sue us, or, and it just goes on. Well, even the bonding for OT, $50,000 if you talk about anything that goes on in the special briefing. Why would, how is that freedom to be in a legally handcuffed situation where you're gagged and bound like a prisoner? This is insane.